And hello and welcome. And uh, this is a video today for the day of the uh, Battle Nations tournament, for short BN tournament. And even before you all ask in the comments, I'm not call of it. I'm not British. I'm Imperator Ricardo. I'm Roman. Or Magna Germanian if you want. So um, yeah, that's me. Hello. And um, I'm commentating this. So, uh, battle between Han Power and W and Starman. It looks like it's 5k on Turkey. Or the Ottomans as I prefer because Turkey didn't exist at this time technically. 15 peace time. Well, and it looks like Han Power is very much faster than Starman at building up. Also looks like he isn't using his peasants properly. He has standing some just standing some around. But he still is faster than Starman. I suppose that he got the power of the uh, of the knight, of the chat knight, before he started this battle. Well, uh, we all know about Starman. His dragoon power. <laughs> and uh, yeah, dragoon power against Han power might lead to a few um, a few confusions, but uh, I, th I think you know what I mean. Looks like Han power is going for Autumn Pikeman and so Starman. Probably both going for Light Zipper here too, but uh, Han power doesn't seem to be interested in building another barrack or a stable for that matter. Which is uh, a, bit, a bit critical, I think. I think that you will probably need this. Need the more additional units. And considering this is 15 piece time, I don't know why they aren't going for the Janissaries either. 10 piece time and 0 piece time, I can fairly understand that you want to go for pikes because, uh, well, it's, it's earlier. And 10 piece time you can get the pikes effectively, but in 15 piece time you can also get the Janissaries effectively. Did I already mention this is the gold leak? I think I didn't, but um, now I did. This doesn't have anything to do with the fact that they are going for pikes instead of janissaries. Totally not related to that. They can do whatever they want. They are doing it both, so I think they know what they do. At least they aren't going for infantry hordes, otherwise it will be just cancer to watch to be honest. I get infantryman PTSD already from several team games, but that's unrelated now. Han Power just finished his second barrack, while Starman has this for like three minutes now. Giving uh, him quite the edge in production, and now Han Power is going to lose two pikemen because he just put them over Starman's border. What a waste! When I keep looking at the back head of the Ottoman pipe man, I keep thinking that they wear some kind of helmet that has this 
we had the uh, Iowa Craw uh, hair thing on it, but uh, they just have a silly feather on it. And it's not cool at all. <laughs> now Starman is going for infantry hordes. I can already feel the PTSD kicking in. And Han Power is going for uh, for a thick wall. Apparently he is the uh, the Ottoman Trump. Hmm. Bernardine Al Trump. Or something like that. And he's going for a second big wall. But he isn't matching the wall up, it's uh, disjointed in a way. He has his entire back wall free open. No, not back wall, back back path free open. And he has a thick hole towards Starman. Probably on purpose. The diplomatic center from Starman is standing. And Hanfauer isn't going for diplomatic center, he's going for a third barracks. Hmm. And for an artillery depot, which is interesting, which is, which is an interesting choice, I think, but a logical choice. When artillery is on, you want artillery. Might actually even help against Starman's infantry horde, but we will see. Actually, if Han Power manages to fully upgrade his pikes, he's just going to obliterate Starman, because the infantrymen don't stand a chance against upgraded pikes, especially when they are fully upgraded. The pikes, it is. The infantrymen just don't don't stand a chance at all. Ramon is also using round shears, though. They can deflect a bit of damage, but considering that the infantrymen don't really have a higher um, a higher range of attack than the round shears, that's not going to help. They will just get mowed down, whilst the infantry will also get mowed down, and nothing will be achieved like this. Perhaps he's trying to pump up his score, so that Han Power doesn't think that he's a joke. But I can't explain or think of how this is supposed to work right away. We'll see though if he wins or not. It will be sure be interesting. As to be expected, Starman has has to build a ton of houses. While well, Sunflower just has to build his first ones. And he also just built his different base center and he's making light infantrymen. Which is a good choice, I think. Well maybe. Oh well, looks like Starman is going for some dragoons from the diplomatic center. Uh, Han Power has some has some light CPI, but they are not sufficient. Maybe he will make some dragoons as well. He's certainly building some towers, for which the reason I cannot grasp. Well, sure for defenses, but uh, if you are being attacked by such a horde of infantry and they somehow manage to break your army. One or two towers won't won't cut it. They won't cut it at all. You'll need a lot. And towers have their annoying tendency to get really, really expensive really fast. And Han Power is also making some diplomatic dragoons, so he's probably uh, chasing the same plan as Starman, apart from the fact that Starman does not use pikemen. And he's also Han Power also has some cannons now. But Starman is just starting to build his first artillery depot. I think at this point it would be for the best if Hanhauer is really aggressive and flanks around Starman's army with some hitch cross or with his dragoons, optionally. Uh, optimally. 
is it even a word? I don't know. I am already having a bit of my own recordings behind me, so uh, excuse me if I am a little bit off track on my words, but that happens when you talk for like one hour and nothing really works. Anyway, Han, Han Towers Towers are uh, almost finished. His cannons are uh, more ready for battle. I think he is compressing his army, but I cannot really see that. Looks like a 169 formation and 196. Yeah. And Starman is actually the one going on the offense with his uh, Light Sipahi and Dragoon combo. But Han Power has cannons and he is going to use them in the least efficient way possible by shooting at these pikes instead of cavalry. And he isn't going to protect his cannons either, letting one get ca three get captured by Starman. Oh boy, what are you doing? And the battle is starting, and Han Power's reaction speed is god awful, to be honest. At least his towers are helping, but his army is being completely overrun due to the enormous fodder, fodder protection from Starman. His best chance would have been to go for this blobbed up blob of dragoons and light zipper he instead of some spider pikes. I don't know what he was thinking there and I don't want to know to be honest, but that was a lethal mistake. He could have had this in the back. But he didn't. He threw it away. What a shame. Now he's trying to use some hit and run trap strategies against the infantrymen, which is hopeless because they are just too many and the mercenary dragoons are too few and also deal too few damage. Or too low damage, better said. And uh, looks like that's it for the hunt power now. He is clinically dead. Even if he somehow manages to escape now, there's no chance that he will escape and beat Starman. Considering Starman can just send out hordes of infantrymen everywhere and just chase him down. Similar to what happened in my game. Of this tournament it is. But uh, Han Power seems to have... Uh, is a sportsman apparently, so he is probably giving up. Looks like it at least. And um, yeah, looks like that's it. This battle has gone to Starman and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching I'd say and uh, see you in the next one.